our zebras are not native to them. So we thought it wise to confine them so that our tourists can see. A zebra in confinement. hello guys welcome to my channel destiny africa online and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel on this episode we are about to experience nature welcome to the shy hills resource reserve stay tuned shy hills is one of the oldest resource reserves you can find in the country and equally the best place to enjoy nature. It was established in the year 1962 with an area of 47 square kilometers. The Shai Hills is located along the Tema Akusumu Highway in the Greater Accra region of Ghana, specifically the Shai Osudoku district. There are different places to visit within this place, from caves to caves with interesting history of the Shai people. If ever you consider visiting this site, it's always great fun of you. Try visiting this place at an early part of the day so that you enjoy the total life experience of this natural place. One can enjoy sunset, the serene environment and the hilly rocks that provide wonderful hike to hike lovers. I am certain here is the great place for you. Most often than not, most people tend to confuse the Shai Hills Resource Reserve to the zoo. The truth is, the reserve is quite distant from the zoo. Whilst the animals at Shai Hills enjoy free range system, their counterparts at the zoo are confined. One amazing thing one can admire about Shai Hills Resource Reserve is that you can view the mass landscape of the area from the hilly rocks and watch the sunrise and set. Moreover, Lovely activities at the Shy Hills Resource Reserve include games, nature walking, rock climbing, best watching, just to mention few. There is a popular saying that travel and see, don't miss out this opportunity of visiting this exciting reserve. I, Destiny Africa Online, am here to take you on that journey and satisfy your test for nature. Are you ready? <laughs> is a resource reserve and for that matter we are not advised to confine animals like the way you are seeing the zebras being confined as well as the ostrich but of course zebras are not native to Ghana so we thought it wise to confine them so that our tourists can see a zebra in confinement can live for up to about 40 years but in the wild they can live for up to about 25 Yes, and the reason is very simple. In confinement, they have food all year round. When they are injured or when they are sick, we have a veterinary doctor who take care of them. But in the world, no one does that for them. And again, in confinement, they are under protection. But in the world, everyone for himself, God for them all, the strongest survive in the world. So that is why the animals under confinement can live longer than the animals in the world. A zebra can run for about 65 kilometers per hour and they are very dangerous when it comes to their back kicking. They are in the same class with horses and donkeys but you can't tame a zebra and ride on because if you want to tame them unless from the infancy and during that time, the mother will not allow you to get close to them. 
their stripes are like human thumbprint. Each of them have unique identity as well. They feed on 92% grass, 3% shrubs, and 5% herbs. Interesting fact about them is that they sleep while standing. They sleep standing. And again, we have three different types of zebras. We have the gravy zebra, we have the mountain zebra, and we have the plain zebra. The plain zebra is also known as the common zebra. And these are the ones that dominate here in Africa. Their gestation period is between 12 and 13 months. But during their time of delivery, when they realize that the weather is not too favorable for the baby, they can still keep the baby for some time before they give birth. So it affects the parents. But that is what they also do as well. A baby zebra is called a foal. A female zebra is called a hen. And then the male zebra is called a stallion. Currently, we are having eight of them. Two of them are males, and then six of them are females. It's Shire Hills Resource Reserve that we have first zebra birth in Ghana. So like you can see among them, you can see one baby behind a big one okay. over there as well. And that is, it was born here mm -hmm. in Ghana. And in October, it will be three years, mm -hmm. it will be three years in October. So this is a big about zebras. Okay. Ostrich can run for 70 kilometers per hour and their strength is in their legs. So when they want to attack you, they run towards you with their wings open. When they get close, they use their legs to kick you. They also feed on wheat bran, rice bran, green grass and then oyster shells. Because they don't have teeth, they can take gravels for up to one kilo to help them digest anything they take in in animal kingdom the males are nicer than the females and it's the females that do the hunting for the males to enjoy and it is the males that take care of the egg or the babies at night and then during the day it is the females that take care of them when they are laying they all laid in one place and the first female ostrich that will lay the first egg have power over the entire eggs. So anytime it comes around, all the other ostriches give the first ostrich that lay egg that respect to lay on the egg for hatching. They can lay between 13 to 18 eggs in a season. Their egg size is average of 1.3 kilograms which is equivalent to 24 chicken omelettes. If you do a research about their meat, it's the healthiest meat you get, though it's very, very difficult to get. And in the UK, they call it queen's meat because they believe it's only the queen who is able to afford the meat. Their feathers can use for decoration as well as use as a broom to sweep. Their average height is about 7 feet. And interesting fact about them is that they are the biggest bird but cannot fly. And also they are the only bird with a bladder. They are the only bird with a bladder. So this is also a brief about an ostrich. Yeah, the statues or anything like that. So, uh, all the skins and the scars you are seeing here, 
they are wrong. But it's not all the skins and then the scars that we have the animals here in the park. Some are from other parts. Forest Free Commission has 16 protected areas. And Shai Hills Resource Preserve is one of them. So we try to protect not only Shai Hills, because next time you may find yourself in Central Region, Eastern Region, Ashanti Region, or Northern Region. So you need to go and port to find it over there. So this is the skin of an elephant. This is the skin. A cheetah. And then the scar of only baboons. The scar of only baboons as well as the crocodile scar. This is the hippopotamus scar. Look, I have crocodile skin. Leopard skin here as well. This is the rib of an elephant. The rib of an elephant. As well as the shoulder bone, the shoulder bone of an elephant. We have two of these, so you can just imagine wow. how big an elephant is. This is the thigh bone. This is the lower jaw, and then this is the skull. So to see how big an elephant is, you have to raise this on top of this to so just give you an idea of how big an elephant is. This is for now crocodile, the monitor lizard, as well as the goose bug. This is the one we have mistakenly called deer, deer, deer. We don't have deer in Africa. These are the goose bug, and these are the one we used to do the abuachre festival. This is the one. This one has a This is the one. Oh, that's so the one we saw. That the yeah. This is the footprint of the. All right. So this, this is, is the. We have three really different type of cats okay. here in the park. Okay. One of them is called the civet cat. Locally, we call it kankan. That's a circle. Some of you are coming from village. When yes. this animal poop and mistakenly your body touches the poop, it's more than a lapping. It can remain Whoa, with you here. for about a week. Whoa. It has a very Whoa. sharp scent. And the reason is they only Whoa. feed on fresh Whoa. animals. Whoa. On fresh animals. I made mention that Whoa. in animal kingdom, the males are nicer than the females. Whoa. And that's the truth. So <laughs> this is the male antelope cub. I believe you saw some in the world. Oh, this, is, this, is, this is the male antelope type cop. And this is the uh, female antelope type cop. These are the cops, as well as the baboons. For them, I don't need to talk a lot about them because what I can tell you is if you stay in the park for even one more extra hour, definitely they will come and walk on you. And you know they are welcome, they will only see you. You want to touch a crocodile? <laughs> and this is the sea, the tortoise. A tortoise. A tortoise can live for about 100 years. That's, that's but the sea turtle can live for more right. than 100 And these are the spines of a cockle. The cockle of one way. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So cool. Uh-huh. But all be like, all be like, Tim, the again, I hate you, I didn't say about it. Without the oh, oh, yeah, there is no <laughs> Wow. Come out, come out, come out, Dara, look at this. This is the spine of a porcupine. The baboon is really in the wild. The baboon is in the wild. The lions yeah. come out, come out. The lions in Kumasi Zoo also gave their during the lockdown season. But they did a few more. When the government said everybody should be indoors, they were also indoors. <laughs> so during that time, they were also indoors. The park also has 175 different species of bears. That people can see a open person for bear watching. And these are the type of beds that we have here in the park as well. The ants of the males have the homes and then the females don't have homes. One thing about animals is they don't, they, don't, they don't believe in sharing. Maybe two males, two females. Let's take one. So they believe in territories. And if you excuse my word, animals want where they feel protected. 
to you. If you think you are strong, you come and fight the alpha male. If you defeat it, you take the entire females for yourself. If you could, you go back and do the problem. So because the animals know that because this one is strong, they feel protected, so they all follow one uh, male as well. So the males have their horns, but females don't have horns. Why you went the over hill during sunset? This is how the animals do. This is how they do. Over hill at sunset, and this is the scar of a zebra as well as the buffalo skull. This is the ear of a baby and the ear of a baby and So this is also the back foot as well as the front foot of an elephant. So this is a baby elephant front and then back foot as well. So this is also called this is called a gin trap. We Ghanaians, we like bush meat. And especially if you're in the choba and you go and meet a gentleman like Kofi. Kofi will come to the choba, bring out the khaki to be pointing in the soup. I want the ear of the antelope. But no me pedi and asun to yam. They will come and just to this debate. This is how drivers when they go to Trump, they let everybody know that they are running a car. And we know how are we? We, are, we are aware. And also, the reason why they've been poaching the elephant is for their skin, for leather, and then do most importantly, the task. In Asia, they show their wealth. Ghana, we cherish gold so much, but if you go to Asia, if you want people to know your, your value, you have to get an ivory showing that yes, you have money. That is how the elephant. But here we have all type of um, reptiles in here. But interestingly, it's very, very difficult to see them moving in the world. So whoever comes in is 99.9% .9 safe from snakes but of course we have a lot of them here and these are the pythons these ones are the ones that swallows they don't have venom so even if they bite you are not going to die but they are the ones that constrict and then swallows and i believe from here we go to the gate so that if you want to take pictures with them we have one over there then you can put it around your neck, you go then to yeah, take oh. pictures. And then you take it to social media, telling them that you are not afraid of snakes. Because the powers have been given okay. to us to trample over them. I'm not afraid of snakes. So these are also a reptiles, dead reptiles. We have snakes, we have flaws, we have agama lizards. We have them all here. And we are here to know what type of research the animal biology department in the gun wants to come out of it. So we are here oh to see God. whether they want to cure COVID in the next 2030. Okay. This is another type of cat that we have here in the park. Several cats. And also the genet cats. But like I said, they are very difficult to see. We normally see them through our camera trapping because they move very late in the night and we don't do night tours here as well so they jump like super high to too them. and this is the first ostrich egg that we had here oh, an in ostrich. the park their average egg size is about 1.3 kilograms which is equivalent to 24 to 30 pieces of Can chicken from, from here we we'll go to see but this Can is just a gist about them we'll talk more when we get there as well and also the reason why they've been also putting the animals is for their skin Fortunately, none of you is having a quality leather bag here, like we are going to seize just to display them here for <laughs> our tourists to also come and see. Chief, we need leather bag be our kind. We are sure. We need some agent to wash a leg up right? uh -huh. So, quality leather bag, and you can use from generation to generation 
This so is never so cool. cool. And also, the drone shot of Elmina Castle. So these are the castle and this is the entire community. The drone shot of it. The park also have 139 different species of butterflies. And people also come here purposely for butterfly expansion as well. And this one goes to my boss, my two bosses. Anytime your wife wants to sew an African print, just look for butterflies. You are going to get a very good color combination. And when they ask you who is your designer, you tell them the husband is my designer. <laughs> so, this is also a small university in a bush as well. Anytime the archaeology department comes around, anytime the animal biology department in Legon also comes around, here is where they have their lectures as well. And I believe the guy spoke with you about the, the programs. Yes. So during the climax, this is how they used to dress. And from the beginning, it's Shadon Etwado. We showcase what we have. So during the Christmas, we have the Christmas so that we dress the Christmas. And during the festival, I had the two ex rights. They were giving them gifts. They were able to keep themselves after that time. And it also brings so much dignity to the area because it shows how well they have been able to take care of their daughter inside the time as well. So I believe we also talk something about. So they also come around every year, but before we go, let's finish up here. Some people are already tired, but please, let's finish up. The same people wear hunter guard dress as well as the beads and then pot makers. So all these things were the things that they mold using clays to mold them. And also the old snap bottle that they were pouring libation. And the libation is a process of them praying true to God. And we always say that it's white we would bring Christianity to Africa. But for me, it's not true. All this while our ancestors believe there is God. And they knew that Gods don't like alcohol, so they only say, we show you alcohol, but we don't give you alcohol. But they brought the Bible to, in a way, deceive us so that we move away from our tradition. Tradition is different from religion. Tradition is different from religion, but Ghanaians, it's like we can't really differentiate the two, so we have messed it together, and we have make it look like where uh, tradition is bad things, but I tell you, tradition is never a bad thing. It's a way of life, the way we also do so that people will know that yes, there is God. And also, the ceramics that the British were also eating from as well. All these things were found here in the park through the help of archaeology department. They are into excavating. So whatever they found, they survey the place after they take to screen everything they want to get. And whatever they found here, they go and do the carbon dating. That is where it was realized way back in 1000 AD. People were living here in the park by then. Excuse me, where the politician will tell you, you and I were not there. But we got to know through their research and what they found here in the park. So my boss, thank you very much for your time and your cooperation. It's nice meeting you.